Hello, I'm going to demonstrate uh, using a program called uh, Smooth Video Player. I believe it's called Smooth Video Player. Smooth Video Player um, uh, to increase the frame rate for uh, video playback to 30, uh, above 30 frames a second. Now, this has been requested a few times, uh, and I thought I'd do a demonstration on how to do this. Um, as I've kind of looked into it, I seem to know how to do it now. So, first off, I'm going to run Whirly Gig. I have previously installed uh, the Lav Codex with Whirly Gig, and uh, the Smooth Video Player doesn't actually use the Lav Codex, it installs something called FF, uh, FFD Show. Um, I'm just quickly going to run Whirly Gig and make sure that it's all set up and working as it was before. So that seems to be working. Um, if I press play. Hello, uh, this is a tutorial. Okay, that was a <laughs> previous tutorial. Let me just find a. I'm going to play that one. So that's playing as normal. Um, it's installed the Lav Codex, but I'm not sure they're actually running here. Uh, but I'll demonstrate that during a second. So, first off, you need to go to the website for uh, to download the Smooth Video Player project, our Smooth Video project. Um, so if I download here, I'm going to download the three version because we're going to use Direct Show to do this. So that's downloading. I downloaded it before. I'll download here. So that's downloaded. Something else I'm going to download as well is a thing called Media. Is a thing called Codec Tweak Tools. Uh, now, Codec Tweak Tools allows you to change the uh, priorities of codecs that are installed on your system. So if I download that and open it up, go to Preferred Decoders, you'll see here that the LAV codec is highlighted as the preferred decoder for all these. And if you do have problems with uh, codecs, then often it's because this has been set to something different. So I'm going to close that for now and exit. And uh, I've downloaded that and install it. So we're going to do both of those. We only really need to do the 64 bit because uh, Whirly Gig is a 64 bit program. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to untick that. I'm going to tick that. I, haven't, uh, I need to look into how to get this working, but that also is, helps you increase the speed. Uh, and frames per second. I can set the license, install it, and we're off. Well, it's doing so. So once this is installed, it should run in the background, and then when you play back anything that's through Direct Show, uh, it should then uh, play back. With their direct show, let me say, no, actually, just realized if I go back to Whirly Gig, so in Whirly Gig, you need to reset the position, press F2, uh, you need to change the video path to direct show. So I'm going to do that here, it'll restart, and I'll put press play. Actually, here you can see there the lav codex at the bottom. Well, I'm going to close that down. While that's doing that, this is almost finished. Now it's finished. I'm going to run it. It will go into your taskbar. Like so. It will also open up a dialog. At least it should do, I believe. Let me read. Maybe I just need to run up the taskbar. There we go. So I open the, uh, and I'm going to hit start. Look at the FFD show uh, preferred coders. Actually, I'm not going to claim. Yes, sir. yes, here we are. So I downloaded that. So if I go to um, if I go to 
I downloads. Open it up. Go to preferred decoders. You'll see now FFD show is actually on the list for preferred decoders. Now you could set all of these to FFD show. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to set the H.264 to FFD show and apply that and then just close and exit. So what that will do is that that will mean, if I close that down, we still have it in the taskbar. When we run a video, hopefully I shouldn't have to restart, it should just automatically do it. If I do have to restart, I'll pause the video and then... So I believe I'm going to have to reset. Oh, uh, actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'll just open that up again. Uh, I'm going to look through the headset as well just to confirm to me. Because when the uh, smooth video is playing, you will get a message on the actual video saying that smooth video is playing. Reset that to the middle. And you can see the SVP is playing. I'll actually open up the free version here. But it works with the free version as well. So now the smooth video player is doing its best to make it uh, to blend in between the individual frames and make it 60 frames a second. Now something, if I can press Control Alt, uh, uh, Control uh, Alt Tab to switch to something else, I can open up this dialog. And within this dialog, you've got a lot of other settings that you can change. You can also find this through your start menu. And you've got a lot of other settings that you can change for your video. So if you want to uh, use FFD Show uh, to do post-processing or change uh, add noise or anything like that, you can also use a set FFD Show to do that. Um, there's uh, plenty of other options available. This is something that LAV doesn't have. Um, F FFD show sort of integrates it within that and that's pretty much it for setting up the um, smooth video player so you click OK and I'm going to close this down uh, this I don't think runs automatically you probably can set it up in the settings so if I do that when you want to use it just simply uh, just simply open that up and it will appear in your taskbar and that's uh, that's how to set up smooth video playback on uh, on using WellyGig. Uh, the main thing to know is once you've installed the free version uh, is to make sure that you change your codecs to preferred to use FFD show uh, and after that it should work as it's supposed to uh, on the website. I hope that I hope you find that useful and uh, and I hope you enjoy using WellyGig. I look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you.